Welcome students, we have this question root of x positive y is equal to 7 and x positive root of y is equal to 11. Now the solution to this question has already appeared but there is just a small flaw which to mention here is, is this right hand side. This can be deceptive because this 7 is actually a natural number and so people might boil down or they would write to attack this root of x uh, saying that x should be a, a perfect uh, square for it to have a rational element. Well, those deductions are okay if you are dealing with questions which are not complex or the questions which have got uh, hidden pitfalls because in questions such as this, you cannot simply go on and make an insulination based on the right hand side. It can be quite uh, harmful for the process of achieving the solution. And one final insight is that the question simply says solve. You have to solve and find the value of x and the value of y. That's it. And let us do that. So let me rewrite the question. I've got root of x uh, positive y is equal to 7. I'm going to take this as equation 1. I've got x positive root of y is equal to 11. I'm going to take this as 2. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract 1 minus 2 or 1 negative 2. So this would mean I will have to change the signs. I'm just approaching a small technique. So what, before I could subtract I would like to place them in parentheses like this. So that means this entire thing root of x positive y is subtracted minus x positive root of y. So I'm retaining it. This is an approach which will allow us to solve the question. You are free to approach the subtraction in the way that you prefer. Now I'm going to rewrite this as root of x positive y negative x negative root y 7 negative 11 will give me negative 4. Now I'm going to club these two things together and write this as y negative x and then I will club these two things together and write it as root of x negative root of y is equal to negative 4. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this term so this is going to be root of x negative root of y. Now for this term I'm going to take a negative sign out. So if I were to take a negative sign out this is going to be x negative y is equal to negative 4. So I've got a negative sign. So positive times negative this can be rewritten as root of x negative root of y. Positive times negative will give me negative. So this is going to be x negative y is equal to negative 4. So this is what I have got. So probably I will just place a negative 1 there just to avoid any confusion. Now I want to simplify this. The best way to simplify this is to convert x and y in terms of root of x negative root of y. So the best way to do that is root of x negative root of y negative. I'm going to rewrite this as root of x raised to the power 2. This is possible. And root of y raised to the power 2 is equal to negative 4. So I've got these quantities here. Now this is similar to a squared minus b squared. Okay, so what is a squared minus b squared? It's going to be a negative b and a positive b. So imagine this root of x is a and you got a square and the root of y is b and you got a square. So what would it be? So this is going to be equal to root of x negative root of y multiplied with root of x positive root of y. So this is exactly going to be if I were to place root of x in place of a and raise it to the power of 2 and place root of y in place of b raise to the power of 2. So this is what we are going to get. So if I were to substitute this I would have the following. So this is going to be root of x negative root of y negative. I am going to rewrite this as root of x 
negative root of y multiplied with root of x positive root of y is equal to negative 4. Now I got root of x negative root of y, root of x negative root of y. I can take it as a common factor. That would give me root of x negative root of y. So that is going to be 1 negative of root of x positive root of y. So this is what I've got is equal to negative 4. Now I want to get rid of this negative 4. The best way to get rid of the negative 4 is to take the negative sign out. So if I were to take this negative sign out, that's going to give me root of x positive root of y within parenthesis followed by a negative 1 and of course in over here I've got root of x negative root of y. This is what I've got. It's all product is equal to negative 4. So this negative 4 and negative 1 will be cancelled. So this would now be giving me root of x negative root of y multiplied with root of x plus root of y negative 1 is equal to positive 4. Now this is similar to, let me write down this, this is similar to a multiplied with b is equal to 4. So the probable cases these are the cases. So case 1 is A can be equal to 2 and B can be equal to 2. In the next case, case number 2 is A can be equal to 4 and B can be equal to 1. Now there is a final case. So that is case 3. A can be equal to 1 and B can be equal to 4. So these are the three cases that should be placed here. So that is important. So if you got, this is a product. So you have to write them those cases. So case 1. So what is case 1? Root of x negative root of y is equal to 2 and root of x positive root of y negative 1 should be equal to 2. So this is case 1. Now case 2 root of x negative root of y would be equal to 4. If it is equal to 4 then naturally root of x positive root of y negative 1 should be equal to 1. Next, the case number 3, root of x, negative root of y, if it is equal to 1, then root of x, positive root of y, negative 1, should be equal to 4. So these are the three cases that would produce the results. And whichever results that is required for the system, we can accept that. Now, let me just solve this. So now, I've got these two things. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to name this as equation 3 and name this as equation 4. Now, I'm just simply going to add them. Now, if I were to add them, so let me place the addition. If I'm going to add them, root of x added with root of x will give me 2 times root of x. Negative root y, positive root y, they get cancelled, giving me negative 1. 2 added with 2 will give me 4. Now, I move this negative 1. So, that would give me 4 positive 1, 5. On this side, it's going to be 2 times root of x. Now, root of x is equal to 5 over 2. Now, we cannot discard this solution. We cannot discard this. Of course, from here, I can say x is equal to 25 over 4. This is the value of x. So, I have to place this. This is acceptable. I'm going to show you in a minute what does this mean. Now, from here, if I were to take the case 2, I'm going to add this. So, this is going to be 2 times root of x. Positive y, negative y gets cancelled, followed by 4 positive 1 gives me 5. So this is going to be root of x is equal to 6. So root of x is equal to 6 over 2. That's 3. And x is equal to 9. So I'm getting this 9. Of course, this will also result in 6. Okay, so there's not going to be any difference. Now, I've got two solutions. Root of x is equal to 5 over 2 and the root of x is equal to 3. Now, let me just show you this. Now, this is the parent system. Okay, this is the, this is the parent system that we have got. So I've just taken this as uh, 1 and 2. So what I'm going to do is put root of x is equal to 5 over 2. Say I'm just putting it in 1. In 1. So what happens when you do this? So therefore 1 would become 5 over 2 positive y is equal to 7. So y is equal to 7 negative 5 over 2. So from here 14 negative 5 divided by 2. So this is going to be 9 over 2. This is the value of y. Now, if I were to check, now let me just perform the check over here. If I want to check, the check is root of x positive y is equal to 7. My root of x is going to be 5 over 2. 
and my y is going to be 9 over 2. I should get the right hand side. So in this case it's going to be 14 over 2 and 2 divides 14 7 times. So 7 is equal to 7. So left hand side is equal to right hand side. So clearly this solution works. Right? Now on the other end if you were to substitute put if I were to write here put x is equal to 9 or root x is equal to 3. So we got root x is equal to 3 or x is equal to 9. If I were to substitute x is equal to 9, say in 2, suppose I'm placing it in 2, what would happen? So this is going to be 9 positive root of y is equal to 11. So this is going to be root of y is equal to 11 negative 9 and this is going to be root of y is equal to 2, right? And if you want to get the value of y, this would give me y is equal to 4. So there are two solutions. When x is equal to 9, I get the value of y to be equal to 4. And when x is equal to, f or I would say, root of x is equal to 5 over 2, I get the value of y to be 9 over 2. So that would mean, in this case, x is going to be 25 over 4. So the first one is x is equal to 25. When x is 25 over 4, the value of y is 9 over 2. The second solution, when x is equal to 9, if I were to place the value of x to be equal to 9, the value of y is equal to 4. And uh, you can place in your discussions and I will respond. Thank you.